Quarantining at home has pushed people to stock up on supplies and buy pantry essentials in bulk. While there are foods you'll wish you had when you're self-isolating at home, there are also foods you should avoid buying during your next trip to the store, because purchasing them can prevent others in need from getting the groceries necessary to feed themselves and their families. That's because people enrolled in the WIC program, the special supplemental nutrition program for women, infants, and children, have limited options when shopping. The initiative was designed to provide supplemental foods and nutrition education to low-income women who are pregnant, breastfeeding, or postpartum, as well as children up to the age of five. And unlike people who receive similar benefits such as the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, WIC recipients can only use their benefits to purchase from a range of specific, authorized food items, which were specifically chosen for their nutrients and healthy qualities. For infants, this includes essential nourishment such as baby foods and iron-fortified formula, while the general list includes the basic foods needed for a balanced diet. Things like eggs, milk, cheese, fruits, vegetables, peanut butter, tofu, canned fish, whole wheat bread, and other items. So how do you know which items at the grocery store are available to members of the WIC program? The key is to look at the shelves. Foods covered by the initiative are often labeled with shelf tags that say WIC or WIC-approved food. And if those foods are gone, the people who rely on the WIC program for sustenance simply can't get food. Because even if they have WIC funds available, they can't spend that money on non-WIC items. That's become a big problem as people stockpile supplies. Lindsay Kefauver, a mother of two who uses WIC benefits, told CBS Sacramento that when she makes it to the grocery store, finding food for her family has been difficult. You know, don't have the money to feed them and then the no. benefits that you are getting you're not able to utilize. What do you do? And other participants have said that they have lost their benefits because there was simply no food available at the store to spend the WIC stipend on. Those families have been imploring people who aren't reliant on the program to pay special attention to the WIC sticker and avoid those food items when grocery shopping. And local officials have been joining the call. Adam Adrano, a city council representative from Dallas, asked the general public in a Facebook post to stay away from local grocery stores at the beginning of the month if there is no critical reason for doing so. He made this request in order to allow low-income families to redeem their WIC benefits, which are renewed at the beginning of each each month and get the food supplies they are desperately seeking. He also told people to not buy items with the WIC shelf tag, unless there is an absolute need. There is also the possibility that individual states may change their list of WIC-approved foods in response to shortages, as long as the items still meet federal standards. A USDA spokesperson told BuzzFeed that under the Families First Coronavirus Response Act, states can also begin requesting waivers that would loosen restrictions and allow for additional substitutes. These waivers would enable WIC recipients to buy different brands and sizes of food items. However, they are still limited to the foods that are approved by their states. The call to attention for avoiding WIC items has been a national one, with many taking to social media to bring awareness. A tweet from the grassroots political organization Suit Up Maine highlighting the importance of the WIC label at grocery stores went viral, receiving boosts from celebrities such as Kerry Washington and Janelle Monet, who retweeted the image along with the message, I was a WIC baby, please read labels. So when you hit up the supermarket to buy more groceries next time, be sure to check the shelf tags and help ensure that people with mouths to feed get the food they need. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more MASH videos are coming soon! Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one!